this also involves so going around the island, kayaking, and then you know it's gonna take a month. Mm -hmm. So at night you go camping, and then so yes. it's a whole thing. And uh, I guess a month is not too long when it comes to exploring Belitung because as we have witnessed ourselves, <laughs> it is so insanely beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so relaxing. All the beaches. I'm actually going there. <laughs> so I'm You're going about there it. Um, in a few days, right? Yeah. So right. So maybe I'll try to kayak. <laughs> around Blitung as well. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But we're going to find out <laughs> more about this expedition around Blitung. We have with us in the studio the sea kayakers. We have Mas Bangkit and Mas Nico. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Welcome. This is not your first yeah. time coming here. Well, second time? Uh, as a team, this is our second time. Well, as uh, me personally and him, this is our first ah. attending this kind of talk show. Welcome okay. back. Okay, Welcome so back. Uh, uh, we, we kept mentioning sea kayaking. Mm. Okay, so how is it different than the other kayak? I mean, we know that in the Olympic there's this yeah. kayak kayaking competition, yeah. of course. Right. But this is obviously different because you're more into the expedition part of it, right? Mm. Deeper into yeah. the sea. Yeah. Yep. And yep. exploring. Yep. Yeah. Can you tell us more about yeah. sea kayaking first before we start the discussion? So basically, sea kayaking is one of the branch of kayaking itself. Okay. So okay. we've got white water kayaking and sea kayaking. But in sea kayaking, we can get white water itself because white water is not only on the river, it's like a right. water that goes white, like the white cap or etc., like wavy mm. condition. Okay. And in sea kayaking, on our context, it's an expedition, yeah? Mm. It means we are going to have to paddle multi dice. What do you mean by that? Multi dice, multiple dice. Oh. Multiple dice. Yeah, oh, so okay, it's not. Right. It's not. Okay, 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 probably okay. in Bali, it's just like only a rent. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you're doing that daily, probably okay. for a couple of hours. Mm. Okay. And as an expeditioner, when we are doing expedition, we're going multiple dice, of course. Okay. So the kayaks that we are using is particularly for expedition itself. Mm. So it's different than uh, the yeah, other yeah. ones. We, we got, Let's we talk got, about that. Yeah. Yeah. We got several types of kayak. Mm -hmm. And in sea kayaking, we got sit on top, which means we are going to sit on top of the kayaks. Okay. Mm. And this over here, we are having the sit in kayak. Mm. So we're going to go, we're gonna go inside the kayak and we are going to became one. Like, like the F1 drivers, right. yeah. Like the yeah. F1 drivers. Yeah, yeah, we're going in the cockpit, guys, uh -huh. the cockpit, and yeah, right. more or less. So for this particular uh, expedition around yeah. uh, Blitung, how many kilometers are you uh, traversing? You know, how many uh -huh. kilometers will you do yeah. in, I think, a month's time? Yeah. And how many hours a day do you kayak to get around the island? So over here, this, <laughs> this man, uh, Nico, Nico. Yeah. He is our operational commander, which right. means he is in charge for uh, planning our expedition and setting our camping point. Okay. Each day we're going to move from one point to another point, from A to B to Z, from the starting point to the finishing point. And this guy over here, he's, he's the one who is in charge for that. Okay, Probably, Nico, then... Yeah, he can answer that. Uh, okay, uh, to make it simpler, perhaps yeah, okay. you can uh, tell us what a day of a kayakers, of a sea kayaker look like. You know, like this will be a month long yeah. expedition, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just uh, give one example of a day. What, what, what mm -hmm. do you do in a day from, from the moment you wake up until you sleep? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I will, I will tell you a bit. So uh, every day we ca we will do it paddling. I mean, it's like moving from one point to the next point. Okay. To the campsite is it's around 40, sorry, 422 kilometers. What? So we will we will split it uh, to around 28 days. A day. Yeah. Yeah. 28 days. And 28 it's days. It's about eight hours per day paddling. Wow. So from we wake up. Uh, we, we need to prepare our equipment, mm -hmm. ec uh, our gear, mm -hmm. so and break down our camp and yeah our our camp gear, mm -hmm. and also put it in to the kayak. Okay. And we we paddling and move to the next point. Okay. 
the reason why I ask you a day in the life of a kayaker yeah. is that I want to know when do you guys eat? When do yeah. you guys take breaks? <laughs> I was going to ask yeah, yeah, that yeah. because it's eight right? straight hours okay. of exactly. kayaking. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay, perhaps Bunk, if you can tell us more about it. Yeah. So we got a bit different style of eating, let's say. Right. Uh, for having breakfast, we are going to have breakfast and dinner. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it at our campsite. Okay. Yep. Well, during our paddling days, in the middle of the days, we are going to have lunch on top of our kayak. On top Here? of the kayak? Yeah, in yeah. The so middle pretty, of pretty, the... pretty much like, yeah, in the middle of the ocean, oh. floating wow. around, you know. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why we, we, have to, we have to adjust a little bit with right. our lunch behavior or habits. And pretty much we are going to have more or less snacking. So it's, it's, yeah, yeah, snacking. So it's more but, snacking. Yeah, but we, we count the calories mm. uh, because you know uh, paddling is quite demanding physical yeah. activity. Right. And you can't be on calorie yes. deficit. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise, yeah. we're gonna be skinny after <laughs> the expedition. You know what I mean? Yeah. And right. yeah, we're going to have some snacks on top of the kayaks. Mm. Uh, we got several types of food as well during our lunch. So it's not only sweet, but we got sour a little bit. Mm -hmm. And salty stuff as well. Of Can course. you give an example of what? what like like, like pro lunch? protein bars, Pro chocolate, yeah, yeah, so and easy, fruits easy as well, eat, yeah, guess, yeah, right. and sausage, like ready to eat sausage. I see because it's, it would be impossible for you to cook inside. Uh, the on kayak, right? yeah, it would be possible. So pretty <laughs> Not possible. All right, yeah. so, right. So go ahead. Uh, I mean, yeah. how do you? Because you know, it's there are safety issues, right? Of course, right. Yes. First of all, yeah. how many of, of you guys are going on this expedition together? Mm -hmm. And do you guys kind of look out for each other? Is there someone, is there maybe a boat? Uh, you following know, you guys? Following you guys, or if there's any well. safety issues? Like, <laughs> no, or you guys so, are alone? You want to explain that? Yeah, I try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so, in our team, we have a land support team. Right. With a car and motorcycle uh, to back up our, our paddling system from land. And also in the, in some spot we, we need to cover it from boat okay. also. Okay. So we need also every day we need to back up uh -huh. from yes. land and from the boat also. I see. Well, uh, kayaking in the sea on the sea it would be very very challenging because of the heat. Yep. Yeah. Right. So you need to hydrate, of course, throughout yeah. the day. Yeah. Now my question is, you cannot just randomly. Uh, find an island to go number one or number two, right? So how do you guys, do, you guys do it then? With all of those hydration? <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, that is a good question actually. Yeah. It's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Like for number one, it's a bit easier because yeah, we got several ways to do it. Mm. Uh, this man over here, Nico, <laughs> he got his own bottle, oh. particularly oh. only right. for right. toilet. Do you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's for number one. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And for number two, we trying to uh, once again adapt uh -huh. with our system. That's why we kind of change our biological hours. Got so it. either in the morning or after oh, paddling. So you guys have a set time when you. Yes, have to that's why we whatever. we already prepared that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. uh, for this one month, it's it's a bit long paddling day, of course. Okay. And we did several months of practicing and training and uh -huh. trying to adapt with the heat, with the wave as well, with the swell, etc. Yeah. Uh, it 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 already started since May. So how how our, long? Our is training. It? How many a few months? months or yeah yeah like right. three or four months already. Nice. All right. So what does it take to do this successfully? Sea kayaking, I mean. But before we move on to yeah. another topic, uh -huh. I would like to ask, is there any um, girl or woman in the team? Because, uh, oh, okay. if, because we were talking about how to go number one, right? Yeah. And, and, well, it's easy for guys. <laughs> yeah. You can just use a bottle, but what yeah. if you have a woman on the team? Indeed, we have two women uh -huh. on the team, yes. Really? But, uh, so we got two smaller teams, like the paddlers and the land supporting team. Uh, on the paddling team, we got one woman. How she do it? She often just, you know, get out from the kayak. 
and just get into the sea. Take her All time, natural. you know what I mean? All natural, All natural, natural. natural. <laughs> okay, natural. Like... But of course, with, with the other teams, keep an eye on her. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mind the distance a bit, but now still. Now I know. Okay, go on with the, the question. <laughs> right. Sorry. So, I mean, you know, these days it's, you know, it's quite trendy to kind of yeah. maybe run marathons and yeah. so forth. So if someone wants to do this, like, what, you know, what would they need to do? Did they need a lot of cardio or like a lot of strength? Uh -huh. I'm guessing strength as well with the arms, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And endurance as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, those muscles. <laughs> you can clearly you see can, it. From do you want to pump it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pump it a bit. Pump it a bit so they know. Like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's the thing about sea kayaking. It's not uh, really a... So, you know, if you're doing a lot of sea kayaking, that yeah. doesn't really make you skinny. It doesn't really burn fat, right. actually. It's more like physical activity, like train right. your muscle. And, yeah, because uh, we already trained, mm. like, doing the sea kayaking we started slowly on flat water yeah. and we gonna we we did upgrade it the wavy condition and uh, longer paddling days of course mm. that's why we got target for each day mm. but on our training period we started slowly and that's also related to some of our new members from the new batch of our outdoor club, one and three. Yeah. Uh, three of them were new mm. as a sea kayaker, yeah? Mm -hmm. But we got advantages because one of them starting from white water kayaking, and one of them wasn't a sea kayaker but already get used to play in the ocean, in the sea. Oh, okay, so he's oh. comfortable. Yeah, already, yeah, yeah. And practice. one of them, he wasn't really playing in the sea but he was a was he was he a rafter yeah 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 yeah, yeah. he was he was a rafter like like on the river where do you guys practice though for for beginners because we know when it comes to diving we start in a pool right in yeah. a really yeah. deep pool and then when you are comfortable enough you can try it out yeah in the sea mm. yeah. now what about kayak well we, we can start from the pool as well of course okay but with the smaller kayaks Oh, not okay. this one, probably, because with a smaller kayak, we can get in touch more with the kayak. Like, we can, you know, uh, bond more with the kayak. We know the characteristic of the kayak. We know the essential of doing kayaking. Mm. And we start from pool to flat water, like on the lake mm. or on the reservoir, like mm. near Bandung, where we are base, mm -hmm. yeah. there is a reservoir nearby, so we often go there to practice on our stroke, paddling stroke, and yeah, to just, you know, basically get in touch more with the kayak. Got it, but is there <coughs> any specific skill that a kayaker needs to have? Like, because when I see the mm -hmm. anatomy of a kayak yeah. itself, I think uh, some of it uh, are easily, you know, can uh, easily capsized. Flip. Yeah, yeah. Or upside down. Yeah, so yeah. Right. I guess you have to have that skill in order to be able to flip it back up. Uh -huh. is, that tr is that true? Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be like that because, you know, sea kayaking can be fun as well, but not really demanding. But on our context, since we are doing expedition, that is one of the fundamental skills, let's say, to do what we call the Eskimo roll. Eskimo. Eskimo. Eskimo roll, yeah. Right. So basically, you are rolling your kayaks from the position upside down. Mm. So you are like, under the water? While you are underwater and without getting out from the kayak. The, that's okay. Ah, because that, that's because thing. without yes. getting out of the kayak. Be, oh, yes. When you flip over, just you just go out, out right. and then, yeah, uh, yeah. you know? Right. <laughs> and you kind of flip. flip. Yeah. But, but, and then get but, back in. Yeah, that was the context for an expedition. But for fun or for like, if you're doing a recreational kayaking, you, you didn't have to do that because we got the technique that we call the re-entry. Re-entry. Yes. And it will be assisted because we are not going uh -huh. alone. Yeah. Uh -huh. So there, are, there were yeah, several techniques how to do that. But basically, we re-enter the kayak with the assist of your body. Okay. So when the kayak is capsized or upside down, you get out from your kayak and empty the water and flip uh -huh. the kayak again, put it side by side on your body and then right. the victim, let's say, or yeah. the one who gets out from the kayak, <laughs> re-enter the kayak. That sounds okay. complicated. Yeah. yeah, 
that it doesn't. Sounds... I, I mean, yeah, I guess I mean, for the first it, time you're panicking, right? <laughs> yeah. You're under the it water. It sounds right? complicated, yeah. but when you're doing it by just watching the other, it, it's, right. it's not really complicated like it sounds. All right, I believe you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I think we want to go through some of these equipments because, I mean, this kayak is huge. And yeah, so just go through us uh, this particular kayak yeah. while you're using this one. Yeah. And also your camping equipment as well. Uh, do you guys like look for your own food when you're camping or is it just for resting? Do you have time to answer? Yeah. 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 Sure. About the, yeah, about the okay, kayak, let's, 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 uh, let's start, let's start with about that. Our equipment and mm -hmm. our logistic, our yeah. food. What do you have inside this? Yeah. Yes. Okay, then. And so about the re-entry and the roll, so you don't worry about it because mm -hmm. we also always use the personal floating device. Ah. Oh, it's like a life jacket? Yeah. Yes. So it's like a safety personal equipment. Okay. <coughs> we sold, we must have to wear it. Mm. So from the feet and to the top. I see. Okay. So, so one kayak, one person, right? Yeah, yeah. personal. Yeah. And, and, I, and I see two paddles. So do you use both? Or? Uh, we only use one, but the other one is for spare. For backup. Yeah, for Got backup. It. Yes. And oh. where do you store the tent? Because, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the unique thing about this kayak is, uh, since it's a sit-in kayak, it's closed. The, 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 the design of the kayak is closed. And inside the kayak, we got partition. Hmm. What we call it, the, the, the bulkhead. So yeah. each several uh, distance of the kayak has its own compartment. Uh -huh. oh, uh, for so example, these... this kayak. Right. Uh, yeah, if you I see on it. top of the kayak, I was there, 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 what yeah, were, right? there are black stuff on the kayak around. Okay. So that's the. They are the compartment. Is that for the food or the one in front or what is that for? The one in front is a yeah. bit smaller, so you can store something small. Something small. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like Some your food, smartphone. So like, yeah. Oh. Or camera. Camera, or... see. Oh, yeah. Gadgets. Yeah. Gadgets. Yeah, we are, we are land people. Yeah. <laughs> so, and in front of the kayak, so this kayak got two main compartments. Right. One on the front and one on the back, on the okay. bow on the, or on the stern. It, it's the biggest compartment compared to the other two. Okay. So we, we, yeah, yeah, we can store the tent inside the kayak Whoa. Uh, on front. Or yeah. on the back side of the kayak, we can store our fold table chair over there. And we can oh, store. Chair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you see awesome. that chair over there and that tent, if we packed it, the yeah. size of it, it is not longer than my femur. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So it's like this length. Okay. So we can store it inside the kayak, either on the front or on the back. Right. And we can store our cooking stuff. In the kayak, in those Inside ones. the kayak, yes, one of those. Oh. Yeah. So, so those are for breakfast and dinners, right? Yeah. What do you usually cook? Ooh. Is this always something instant or perhaps no. you get some plants from <laughs> <No>. the island? <laughs> so we, we, we cook, of course, Asian style rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and fish from the ocean? Uh, occasionally, probably, yeah. Okay. For, for our main dish, it would be like a MRE, do you know that? Like the, for the military stuff, like meal ready to eat. Oh. So we basically okay. just have to cook the rice and, and we, we're gonna hit up the MRE. Right. So we got rendang, beef rendang or chicken rendang, etc. Oh, with, with that lifestyle, you know, during that yeah. one month of expedition, you eat those ready to eat food and sometimes only have snack for lunch. How do you keep your health? I mean, it's not an easy environment, right? You're constantly faced with the heat yeah. of the sun in, in the middle of the ocean. How, yeah. do you, how do you maintain your health? And what yeah. happens when you're sick, like when you're feeling under the weather during those trips? Oh, it's, it's your. You, you, yeah. you also will tell about it. Oh, so, right, you're because, the yeah, manager. Yeah, he, yeah he, he's right. the what do you commander. Do? What do you you know, when, yeah. when, when your team members <laughs> are sick during the trip? Uh, yeah, so the, the first time we will need to prepare ourselves so about the weather and we need to practice. Uh, uh, that's Bangkit said three months ago. Three months. Yeah, yeah. We, we start to exercise from three months ago mm. and we need to, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, a daily activity. So it's about the power and the endurance. Mm. 
so we need to improve ourselves while we are paddling mm -hmm. and, so, and then about uh, what will we do if one of us get sick yeah. mm. so yeah. that's we prepare all of the medical kit also and our team also need to back up about about if one of us get sick mm. so it's like a emergency response procedure right, right. the key is being prepared yeah. Yeah. yeah right so there's a standard of a procedure that you guys yeah. have of course all right so i have another question is uh i heard that you guys often encounter crocodiles when you're <laughs> resting in your tent so tell us more maybe about that experience and how you kind of avoided that is that true that you often because this is one of the questions that well uh, about this particular place and Belitum, yeah right uh, during our preparation so we are preparing this expedition based on map right. so we are we were taking a look at the maps of Belitung, the whole island of Belitung, and we're gonna let's say spot the possibility where the crocodile is right, right? For example, estuary or the river mouth or the mangrove area, we can right. track that down by just looking at the maps first. Firstly, yeah, to begin with, and we continue to gather and collect the data and information from mm -hmm. our, let's say, partner over there. So we right. we are collaborating with a one of our local mm. over there as well, mm -hmm. and. His purpose was to, you know, like collecting the data about the weather as well, like the, um, you know, where's the most possible we can spot yeah. the crocodile. And we already plot that on the map. So okay. let's say we, we, we know where's the possibility of the area. Mm. And of course, because of that, based on that, we were having a training as well, how to handle the crocodile wow. without hurting them without hurting them of okay. course because you know naturally even even though it's a wild animals yeah. naturally they, they will you know go away if they see something bigger than them mm. right and the size of the kayaks are often bigger than them <laughs> yeah true so in yeah. case you know if some of them are aggressive we yeah we did some practice on how to handle them without hurting them as well, of course. Yeah. And the best way, of course, to prevent that. That's why on later on our expedition, mm. if we are getting close to the area where it's the most possible we can meet the crocodile, we are going to have a different system. In that. Right. For example, if we are getting close to the estuary, like mm. the river mouth, uh, we are going to like going around a bit, oh, right. you know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah, a longer avoid way that. to right. avoid. So right. yeah, yeah. The, the the essential thing I think it's to prevent. Yeah. But if we did, you know, encounter uh, yeah, with yeah, one, yeah, mm -hmm. encounter with one, we you already know at, what to do. At least, at least yeah. we know. Yeah. And also, we are having a mangrove school. Mm -hmm. So theoretically, about mangrove and. Uh, so, you know, if you see a mangrove, we, we often see those areas as just one green area, isn't it? Like, yes. yeah. it's just green mangrove, that's it. Yeah. But because we, we, we had this mangrove school, so we know that there are several types of mangrove as well. And the relation to crocodile is where is the most, you know, comfort zone for the I crocodile. See. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Got it. Well, I still have a lot of questions <laughs> yeah. for you, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we're going to have to take a little break, but do yeah. not worry because see, the stories will continue after that. Still with Nico and Bunkett right here. So do not go anywhere. Stay with us right here on a three-hour news show on C Today.